Hello. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I know I haven't done it in a while, and I apologize for it, but uh, doing some uh, Ace Attorney today. And to, to be quite honest with you, I have no idea where we left off. I I may have uh, dumb fucked it. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Oh, it's the trial. September 7th, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom one. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edward, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Ms. Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence that she committed the murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. OBJECTION! I you. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the Chief Officer of the Scene, Detective Gumshoe. Thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Also, how's it going, Rose? Oh. I just popped my neck something fierce. Yeah. Delicious agua. <laughs> Wait, do I have root beer still? Barely took a sip of it during dinner. Okay. It's been okay. It's been a long day. A long, long da. Well, hope your day is going at least better after the long, long da. When this place, please state your uh, name and profession to the court. Sir, my, nis my name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. Because there's a window here. The cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker found next to the body. It's heavy enough to be deadly, a deadly weapon even in the girl's hand, sir. Court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Interesting. Now, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene. Correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had the evidence. I had the hard evidence. She did it, sir. Hmm. Detective, come to you. Uh, please testify this court about this hard evidence. My face arrest. As soon as the phone call name came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people all there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness, the witness saw Miss the moment uh Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Fall damage optional. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh, smack. Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Witness always slips something up, slips something up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Heh. I should have expected Maya would would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross examination. All right. So as soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. 
There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. I'm gonna press this one. Why is that? What's your reason? Oh. Uh. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw this moment the. Hold on just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence you did it, correct? Huh? D did I say that? Me. I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> you said it! Exactly. What about the suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? What? This maze is suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than a claims detective? Um, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Huh, okay. Very well, Detective, let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. If it's a head trauma... Uh, I guess there could be a little bit of blood from a head trauma wound. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor, why did you testify about, the, about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may be good at its cross-examination. I was securing the suspect to examine the scene of crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clearly, clearly written in blood. Lab test results show the blood was the victim's. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um, well... I heard they take the uh, little bits in the blood, the... Er, Hemo, Hemo, Hermo, Hermo Goblins, Hobgob, Her Herma Goblin, Bobbin. I refuse to testify on this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Thanks, pal. I mean, you're honest, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah? I look forward to your next evaluation, as should you. Oh, no. That was mess. Alright, where was I? Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. On which hand was the bloody finger, detective? The right hand. She was right-handed. Nice try. I guess it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim, the victim wrote the killer's name. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies. This isn't a movie, Detective. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd the victim would write... Death was instantaneous. Especially the name of our own sister. Ah, yeah. Actually, you got a point, pal. Stop right there. The witness's, op the, witness's <coughs> the witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. Facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. 
Order, order. That didn't go so well. That's right what he said. Couldn't have been, it's instantaneous. Deck of Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying. Hey, you Sayu, how's it going? Haven't seen it a bit. What? This wasn't isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it, who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blunt up, blow from a blunt object. Anyways, what's what's going on? What's up? With, what's been up with you? I see you on Twitter every so often. You going for a new model? She died immediately. But yeah, sorry, I haven't been here for a while. No worries, no worries. I know I understand life is a thing. I n I never hold like people like. Oh, why aren't you here supporting me? <laughs> like, I, I I appreciate the support, but do it on your own time. Been hectic and busy? Well, I'm, I'm glad you're keeping busy. Hopefully in a good way. Have you been doing all right otherwise? No butting your way out of this one. <laughs> he said, what? Order, order. The defendant has a point. Someone who died immediately could, wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? Oh, I forget. I'm sorry, I forgot. Ha, forgot you say? It was the day after the murder, your honor, sir. I was the one who handed it to him myself, personally. Oh, right. Prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second uh, you're you're not a clown, you are the entire circus. <laughs> a second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. But there's a possibility the victim lived for oops several minutes. I keep right clicking on this game, I hate it. Is there is there a way that I can disable that? I received these results this morning. No way. Good good things most recently. Things are uh, coming down, so that's good. Nice. If, if I may ask, and feel free to say, I, oh, you're uncomfortable with it, but what kind of successes have you gotten as of late? Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. I got a new model, nice. And new overlays, hell yeah. I moved, ooh. Living on your own? Or I guess, no, nah, that's that's a weird question. Don't, 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 don't. Well, to my grandparents? I mean, it's, 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 it's like responsibility enough. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? Uh. Detective's a sham. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I thought, Detective Gumshoe. Or, I'm disappointed in you handing him the wrong report like that. It's closer to work, my kid's school, less travels for babysits. Hell yeah. I'm glad everything's work working out hunky dory for you. So yeah, I'm able to relax a bit more, and that's, that's always good. I feel at least have being able to relax. I, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. But oh, okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna swig some root beer. Oh, that's the good smooth shit. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. 
On restore, the card uh, accepts this evidence. So now that you're able to relax more, does that mean more Sayu streams? Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. And I think I even like someone again, but I'm not sure. Well, I mean, uh, always take your time with it, I feel. Make sure you're like 100% into it before you want to go off and... Hell yeah, I t oh, I just finished the stream? Oh, I didn't notice you streaming. I'm, I, I hope I'm followed. I apologize if I'm not. I thought I was. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, 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 I, it's, it's not my place to say. You, you, you do your relationships how you want to, but like, I always give people the advice to like, calmly go into a relationship, because if you do, if you do it with like, your heart pulling it, you're basically gonna get yourself into shit like I did. And I don't, I don't, I don't want people to get into like, abusive relationships. I'm kind of scared of relationships, and I, I'm, I, if, if you want to go into it, sure. This is a safe space to do so. I'm not going to judge. No one here is going to judge. Um, but I, I, I think I kind of get why one would be scared of a relationship so you don't have to go into details. So I don't know if I have the fact that I like someone yet. That makes sense. Focus on yourself first and foremost. That's what I always say. Without without being, you know, like, greedy. Uh, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. Progressing, the prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April, may take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. Wink. Wow, I'm uncomfortable already. Yeah, I also know a guy. I also know a guy likes me, and that and that already scares me. But yeah, I told him I'm not ready, and he understands. Well, I'm glad he's at least being reasonable about things, you know. I. And I, I'm saying this as a standpoint of guy. Guys have a terrible kind of track record for not understanding but I'm glad he is and that he's one of the good guys well hopefully good at least order and introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd the witness will refrain from wanton winking ah uh, yes your honor this is not good she's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom and some ladies Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when, this, uh, when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. T I'm f I feel fucking dirty saying that. He's nice and supportive and all, and he's very understanding and kind, but yeah. That was what me exes seemed to be too in the start. Mm, yeah. I, 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 as I, I, I apologize for what you've, for what you've gone through. I'm said I'm I'm sorry. I hope uh, I hope one day you'll either be able to find peace, or no, I guess finding peace with it was probably the best way to phrase that. Hopefully, hopefully you'll get to where you want to go. Is what I'm trying to say. If you want a relationship, and in, in the end, uh, I hope the relationship works out. If you decide, oh, you don't want to have be in a relationship anymore, I feel. Oh. And one was mentally abusive, and the other was a gold digger who left first chance she has. Ugh, I see. Okay. I totally know about the mental abuse. I. I I'm in this. I'm in. The, I, and I and I say and I say this. I, I say this in a way to kind of make it a little bit more hearted. I I, I feel your pain, sister. <laughs> and no, but seriously, I I I I know what you're going. I know what that's like. Not not the gold digger part, the first one. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel, I just want to focus on me and my kids for now. And study to get a better job. What you studying? This hotel is directly across from the Fanco Law Offices. Mmm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Programming, hell yeah. Is, and, oh, awesome. 
That's actually, are, are you trying to become like a, a game programmer? I want to start making games. You know what? Fuck it. I think Monday might be a game dev stream. I, I, I've been putting off game dev streams because I get, keep getting self-conscious. I, 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 I have a degree in video game development from uh, a college. I already have a huge idea in my head. Nice. Maybe one day you and I can collab or something. OMG, teach me. I'm always, I'm always up for, uh, like, giving what I, the knowledge I have. My my forte. What the hell? I hear it crackling in my left ear. Uh, my my forte is environment design. I I I I can do programming. I'm not the best at it, but at least I've made something substantial. Uh, uh, do I have one, one day I'll drop, just, just message me on discord or something. And maybe like you and I can collab on something in the future. Who knows? I'm, 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 I'm always, I'm so stuck on it. Honestly, I mean, I'd like rightfully so. And, and, and I, I go, I'm, I'm sorry to pause the game like this. And, and in my opinion, uh, those who want to go into game development should be able to create their own legacies. Just, we'll just gotta check the time zones, of course. Um, but like game devs, if you go in just to make money and just to play games, that's not really worth it. You should, I feel like you should become a game dev to make a mark on the world. To be able to give, because games are interactive pieces of art they're there's so much more than just hop skip and a jump whatever level you go you, it's it's an immersive experience it's it's it, it leads cultures it's it helps people out mentally and physically at times it it, it helps vent anger it helps create relationships i want to make a game about my oc i mean that's always fun I would I would make a game about my OC, but I I feel like it would be extremely boring. <laughs> I have most of the story down. Nice. Is is there is there something you want to get into like uh or like sorry let me let me, let me rephrase what game engine are you using? Sometimes the game can also be cause of the anger. That too, but it's I feel like it's a safer vent to be angry at a game than to be angry at somebody else. Does that make sense? I've heard more often than not, people with mental health issues like anxiety and depression kind of use uh, video games as an escapist measure. That's that's what I was trying to get at. I just can't draw. <laughs> Are you going for a 2D game or... Sorry, did I ever tell you about Skybreakers? Hey, you know what? One of these days, uh, I'm not sure yet, honestly. Okay. I have both. All right, let's 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 continue on the game. I'll 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 I'll, I'll do this and talk. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. And then the one attacking was that little mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. By well, that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. Excuse me. The little woman, woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. In the end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy wink. Stop winking. The judge said stop winking. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness testimony was just quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. 
Only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. I have an idea for the cut first cutscene of the tutorial, but I'm not sure if it's better to do 2D or 3D yet. Well, if the only help I can actually provide isn't 3D, but I, uh, it's uh, like that's entirely up to you. You can for, you can for sure do like pixel art or something. What's what's the gameplay like that you're thinking of? It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out the window. You know, saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Attacking was a mousy girl sitting in the defense chair. Dodged to one side? My advice applies to all forms of art. Just try random things until you find what you like and work from there. Uh, yes and no. It depends on the amount of resources you have. I think I'm going to press on this one because it's... She dodged? Dodged what? Well, the attack. Please continue your test. Okay, that didn't help. Other well, girl, she caught her and she hit her. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... gee. First of all, she had a girl's physique. And secondly, she was... she was small. Who else could it be but her? She has a point. Hold on a minute. The testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... You saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless. About this, I mean. Okay, if you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fay, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, that makes sense. I hate that smile. Oh, that's creepy. No one, wears, well, no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony neither mentions, it, mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. So did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? What are you trying to say, you mean, lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Ugh. I feel dirty saying that. Your testimony again if you would. Damn, I almost had her. I did say everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock. Uh, the kind of statuary clock? The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy... Uh, oh, she mentioned it was a clock. I think it's sort of like an anime gameplay. Like either Genshin or Final Fantasy type. Are you talking like a JRPG? Does the accuracy of my report not startle you? I see. I only wish you had been so detailed uh, from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. I know exactly where I'm striking. Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Ugh, naughty Mr. Lawyer. Why does it make me say those things? You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. There's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. 
Another person in much the same position of you recently called us a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss Mate, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Ooh, erp. The witness saw the murder with their own eyes. That's all that's important here. The Vence is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. What questions are all I have, your answer? Your, your answer? Honor. As you may recall, I've caught these murderers with these questions before. To be fair, you're also choosing to read them out loud. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here in silence? <laughs> well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That was close. If you stop me there, the trial would be over. Yeah, something like that. It'll follow the life of Sayu in her quest to, to clear corruption. I think that'd be pretty fun. Games you should honestly look at. <clears throat> I know you're into, like, Genshin and Final Fantasy. I'm not sure if you want to do turn-based, or if you want to do, like... And I, I, I played this recently on stream. Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, the second one. I think would be a good example to look at. If you want to have, like, roam it, like free roaming kind of combat. So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Faye and Co. No, I wouldn't... I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. The law office of Faye and Co. where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, because the thing's gutted. No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... She couldn't... It couldn't have run. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly... Just take a look, right now. Oh? See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defendant says. This clock is its missing as clockwork. It's quite empty. Nice! Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have run. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Fat? Ha! Got him! <laughs> Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. But as you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there was no contradiction. Quick sip. Ah, delicious. Hmm, that is true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Ho ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. Melton is the only Pokemon that both learns to move when evolving and is simultaneously incapable of learning it. A lot of Pokemon are like that. Riolu can't learn Aura Sphere until it evolves into Lucario. It learns Thunder Punch when it evolves, except it can't evolve it in any main series. Oh, I see what you mean, okay. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves in the clockwork removed is the phone. Take that! 
Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Free room, yes, I prefer that the most. She'll also have the special skill sets with new spells to unlock when leveling up. Sorry, I'm rambling. No worries, no worries. Ram rambling is good, especially when I when I hear people's ideas. When, like, I think, like, uh, if, if you get it out, it, it allows you to think more in depth of things. Uh, so I think you might be a tad behind. Um... Will she have cohorts, or will it just be herself? A recording of the conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. Oh, if you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh, it's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock work out. Yes, I am behind. Uh, no worries, no worries. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, my, my response is between what, what you're typing and my, my response is a little bit delayed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know what I mean. Take the clock work out, sorry. September 5th, 927 AM. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Lama, bleh. And she'll be alone for the first part. Somewhere halfway she'll have help. I feel like halfway might be a bit pushing it. Because you're, you're, it, halfway into the game is when you should be solidifying game mechanics. It really, I, from what I've seen, it really puts people off if you have it, if you have mechanics introduced, like, too far in. Then I guess JRPGs do that quite a bit, but it's, it's up to you, in the, like, in the long run. I'm just saying, from what I've seen, and, like, my studies in college. Miss May, would you care to explain to this court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. So, well, the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. It was made by Larry. It was claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that pro uh, prove the witness had not seen the clock before. It's simple. The clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Possible everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oof. <laughs> oh, excuses not on sale today. He just fucking roasted her. Might be true, maybe I'll let her do it alone after all. That's probably a good idea. Boop jiggle. <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? Oh, crap, she's, she's scary. The stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She, she did it and she should die for it. Die. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Oh? Oh ho ho ho. Silly me. Fuck. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. So if, you're, if, if she's going alone in, like, an RPG style, maybe what you could do... Have, have you seen the, some of the new Pokemon, Pokemon Legends Arceus game? You could kind of have it like, uh, if her stats can affect her turn order, or how fast she attacks comparatively. 
It'd be interesting having like a solo hero into like in a in a, in a gameplay standpoint. It, it'll prove it'll prove to be difficult not relying on any like healers or anything. I guess it could be like a Skyrimish thing too. You're like a jack of all trades, master of none. This may let me ask. Tell me, how'd you know the weapon was a clock? That is an unflattering angle for her. I I, th I I actually think this might be a really good idea, just because of the difficulty level. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. The saber mate, you knew the weapon was a clock because... heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hands. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There was no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Uh, the wiretap. Imagine an antagonist who is smugly where they, they have plot armor is where the prog uh, protagonist has plot armor too. I, I feel like that's too meta. Like, the, 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 that'd be like Deus Ex Machina, but like, way too many times. Have a look at this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss May if I his phone. Were, were you not? Ooh. Ooh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. Troubles me that our witness is in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does events duly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can? It's simple. What? <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... It should... S let me check this. Eh, what is it this time? It's a clock. Okay, yeah. I present defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendants and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. So many desk slams. Yeah, they must have built a lot of like solid mahogany or something with the amount of like fists slamming into the desk. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La la la. <laughs> witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. It's no fair, all of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh... That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with, now to deal the final blow. Hmm... I'm gonna ask why the wiretap. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? 
Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tiffany tapping her irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Ed Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May. You were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder even though you tapped your phone? Ha, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And, uh, f f fuck's sake. And, of course, I can and will. You can't be serious, no way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm. Okay. So the killing happened around 9 that night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. Uh, uh, oh, okay. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. And it's diluted. Ice coffee. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands she saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, the fence doesn't have anything to say. Um, well... Come on, think of something. Uh... Bellboy. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. Objection. I'm objecting to calling the bellboy. Excuse me, sorry. Because I hold up the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition. Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy. Then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby you must also exhibit the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Wait, no, I gotta accept this because the bellboy... I believe the... if I remember correctly, the bellboy said there was two at the... At the, at the, at the thing. Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood, I accept your condition. Hm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy. So without f uh, further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. This may's room service. I'm the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe they received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her nine o'clock on the dot, sir. Uh, I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the coffee to her, the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May herself. 
I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved in the murder now, my will be finished. Head back by the Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Leader saw received a call for uh, in the minute after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Holy fuck, I'm so. I'm gonna press this one. See what happens. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her study ingredients, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I am er hem. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what the? An iced coffee to be brought on nine o'clock on the dot, sir. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that uh, that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. I brought to her express precisely the requested time, of course. Pressed? Precisely nine o'clock, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine, nine p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy. Tee I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9, nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of night, sir. Why we should be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee to Miss, to our guest, Miss May herself. You are sure that was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> hey, Sphix, how's it going? Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with um, an um, uh, embracer, sir. Embracer? Is that French for embrace? Everything's... What's up, man? What's... What's... Why, why does everything suck? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. But hey, I made it. No, if you're if everything sucks, man, you don't have to be here. I mean, you you can if you want to. Up, totally up to you. But if you if you're don't, I know you're mod, but don't push yourself. My mom being over the top, yeah, that's, I guess that makes sense, I think. Final, I'm here to cope, and copium you shall receive. I might fall asleep, though. Neku, go, Neko, go get some, sorry, fuck, my brain doesn't work. Go get some sleep. Phoenix Raid is a god tier game. So far, so good, I'm enjoying it. Go to bed, fuckers! <laughs> but anyways, fix. If you if you need, DM me or whatever you need. If you if ever, if ever like you're in a little bit of a distress. I know I can't exactly do things on account of language barriers, but like, like what, what I mean by that is like I can't like get it get you any any uh, like assistance, you know. Uh, but. Yeah, Nick, it's how you go, 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 go to sleep. Now, I won't make you. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm, I was. I was more like, in case of emergency, I I call I call the Chilean police or something. I I I, I can't exactly do that. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing in there. Is that it? I'll live. No, I know. I just ma making sure you're okay and that like you're not. I mean, worst comes to worst, and I hate to use language like this. 
right, you're not suicidal. Like, uh, people care for you. Like, and I, 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 I don't want anybody here to be like in mortal danger of themselves or other people for that matter. Be it self harm, be it abuse, be it whatever. I don't, I don't want people to get there. And no, no worries, Fix. I just, I care about you. I hope you know that. Like, I, I, I know that, I know that, like, the, the, the thing for, like, suicide is, like, don't, don't kill yourself because people that care about you. That, that actually, that, that's, like, that's, I don't, I don't say that, like, I'll, I'll do bones, I just want to go and finish something. Like, people actually do care about you, and, like, I, I can't, like, it can't be stressed enough sometimes. Like, people will be like, oh, yeah, I care about you, man, and then, like, not do shit about it. Like, I personally don't know you, Fix, but, like, I, I, whether or not I actually do personally know you, I, I, I still care about your existence. You know? It, you, you, I, I may stop streaming, you might, you might no, want, no longer want to be part of the community, and that's entirely fine. But from what I've seen, you're a good person, and I don't want, like, bad things to happen to good people, you know? If, 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 there, if there was a Nazi in chat, I couldn't care less. No, no offense to anybody. I like, that, that, like, if they want to, like, change how they feel, and, like... <sighs> yeah, fuck fascists. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Anyways, going for the hydrate. Ah. All right, and then I have a Bible with hot sauce ready and a hammer. Nice. Wait, why do you have a Bible with hot sauce? Oh. Ah, gotta st stretch my arms. Nice. This disc. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Best part about making lawyers and stories exper uh, experimentation? Hell yeah. Man, I love Edgeworth. I know he's a little bitch right now, but man, he gets so much better. Okie doke. I, I do like that his jacket is red. I, I, I like suits that are like different colors. That aren't like gaudy, like a lime green suit. Like if it's, if it, if it's like, a, like a subtle, subtle uh, red like this, I like it. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? <laughs> ask him about making the bed. <laughs> uh, me on my graduation day with a pride flag suit. If you do that, I would like to see pictures. Uh, with, your, with your head cropped out, of course. I just want to see the suit. Fancy and classy, yeah. Um, oh fuck, cause he mentioned them. But like I, it's. Want to play more detective s games? I recommend Dangan Rampa series, but do note, it is rather bloody, bloody for this, so not for everyone. I've I've heard a lot of things about that game. I heard it's very anime, though. <laughs> that would be expensive as fuck, but I'll try. Just die. Uh, just get, buy a white one and then tie dye it. Tie dye it rainbow. <laughs> DR has a rabid fan base, as in like toxic. Uh, 
Uh, let's go for the room service. Tell me again about her room service. Again, sir? At exactly nine, I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. The guest had requested iced coffee. $18 was the charge, I recall. I see. $18? That doesn't, doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. And we don't skip on the ice, sir. There he goes. Ice coffee for two. Absolutely. Also, if I recall, the games were first. Interesting. Based off of manga, it has an Adam adaptation. Alright. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, oh, or rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Objection. I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Er, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, you see, well, sir, you were, you didn't ask. Nice try. The games were obviously first intentionally, internationally. I think the manga were the first in Japan. Interesting. And it, it, it's a good game? Because a lot of games uh, to animes kind of... Or games from animes or mangas kind of suck. Like, I, I, I look at the, the, the Dragon Ball games. Music is a banger. Yeah, I'm, I'm bopping off. Give me a second, I want to raise my volume. That's the sort of thing you're mentally supposed to mention, or normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite, indeed. It was the uh, good uh, barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh, God. Dear God, type me up. Yeah, it is banger! <laughs> It's not bad, but you can decide for yourself if it's good. Okay. Trial gameplay is really fun. SDVR. Can you please uh, tell me what SDVR means? Best game in my opinion. Quick time bullet hell. Okay. You fool. Super dang and romp of V2. Okay. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked in, uh, into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see the man in the room. That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who maybe have, may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... <laughs> Trish sleeping with a witness. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> He's getting his edge worth. <laughs> oh, he fucked a witness. Simple, it was the man with Miss May. Uh, the man who checked in with Miss May. <laughs> Word of advice, if when you play, try not to get attached to any character. Fuck's sake, final. You guys love me. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi for the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. It's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> the amount of shots. Oh yeah, final. It's a running joke in the fan fandom that Edgeworth is gay. I mean... I, I have I've yet to see anything. 
As as of right now, all the characters are ace. I think. Oof. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. <gasps> yes, Your Honor. That is all today uh, for the trial of Miss Ma for the Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Hell yeah. Oh, I guess day one. Ace Gaming. Mr. Wright. You were amazing in there. Really? I think it might be your newest fan. I think I think I was just doing my job, you know? I like the term arrow ace because it sounds like arrow ace. Are you are you an aromantic asexual or are you master and deadly archer? <laughs> Plot twist you're both. <laughs> Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. He sent shivers up my spine. Is it down your spine? <laughs> Time to master my archery. <laughs> Sphix is gonna shoot somebody with an arrow just as Cupid and go, Ha, I'm not into you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap, I'm I'm too funny. <laughs> oh crap. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um well no, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? The man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Amara can, but Amara shouldn't. Joke's on you, I'm Canadian. New life goal acquired. <laughs> she's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Oh, uh... A Abby Alien, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. And Abby, how would... Uh, Abby? 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 I'll call you Alien, because it's help. Oh, and they were last seen playing uh, Phoenix Wright. Oh, okay, so you were playing this too. Abby Raid! <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Welcome all raiders. How's everybody doing? I see Wolf. I see Abby. I see your girl Rubs or Rubes. Phoenix wrong. Phoenix wrong. Fuck sakes, Fix. This Fix is wrong. <laughs> Rubes. I, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's multiple use there. Pretty good. Really hoarse. How's it going? I'm doing all right. I, I just... Uh, Slapped the pink woman around verbally, so I think I, uh, I, I I caused her to go to jail, and uh, so some man in red is angry at me. Oh, uh, Abby, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to becoming a bonfire, buddy. Uh, Six, you want to drop that sauce for the uh, the Discord? And Abby is sleeping for obvious reasons. <laughs> And, oh, Wolf, thank you for the, the follow. I greatly appreciate that. Yes, I am wrong. <laughs> no, no, I, I, whatever. Uh, oh, I, I got an itch on my arm. We totally do not have a frog cult. And we have a frog cult. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I gotta remove the community challenge. We gotta figure out what we need to do. There were, there were, there were some good suggestions, but nothing, like, people agreed on. Fix, can you message? Uh, can you do some messaging in in Discord, in the uh, in the conversation to see if like we can drum up uh, like an agreement for something? Do you think he was the one who? Maybe so. 
Sis. Don't worry, I'll find it by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. Oh, frogs, my main phobia. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, they're, they're friendly frogs. I want to make the frog hat PNG. <laughs> don't don't worry though, Abby. It's 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 not like a forced thing. But it's this stream is all about a uh, a bonfire. Uh, it's basically like people people are welcome to come here and like treat this place as a bonfire. Talk about your successes. Talk about like mental health and whatnot. Like any anything on the is on the table here. The only the only thing that's not allowed is bigotry, of course. Any any of that is shot down in an instant. Uh, but like it's 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 because you, you think of a bonfire, you think of a comfortable place where you can chill with friends, and we're all friends here. In expansion, Joseph Merlin designed the first roller skates for a masquerade and masquerade party in 1769. Nice. Uh, not bothering to practice, he smashed into a wall-length mirror upon entrance. Worth 500 pounds, a thousand, hundred thousand today. Nice. I want to crash into the computers of the people running out of the theme market. I do too. And marshmallows? Marshmallows are always welcome here. There's there's many marshmallows. Uh, I don't have any. Actually, I should probably port those the the, the marshmallow and weenies uh, emotes to 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 here. It was it was meant it was meant to be seven seven seventeen sixty, but I didn't be able to fix it. <laughs> Fuck bigots, we're all here for asexual lawyers. Nice. Although I, I personally do like a little bit of romance, but I don't, I don't know if this is the place for it. <laughs> I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it may come in hand during to the during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but then she was caught and struck. Why is the blender so loud I can't hear my brain? Why, why is blender so loud? It's a 3D modeling program. <laughs> unless, unless your computer's fried, in which, I, in which case I greatly apologize. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Oh, uh, thank you, Aya Funky, for posting an ad. Uh, see you guys in 60 seconds, I guess. I'll keep, keep on going for those who have subs. Sorry. It is, eagle to, it is legal to own a Fennec Fox everywhere except the United States, except Missouri, Minnesota, Nevada, and Washington. Oh, Aya. You, you silly willy. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya does belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. <laughs> I gotta make the man some money. I appreciate that. Woo! Something I've learned today which might help you wrap your brain around stuff in the series. Japan doesn't have discovery rules. You can pull evidence out of your ass in court. Interesting. I mean, I kind of figure this might have been like a, a pseudo fictional uh, area, like the what was what was it uh, in in Big Hero Six, San Francisco or something like that. It was like a combination of cities. Also, didn't have a jury system until the mid uh, thousands, which oh, way after this game was originally released. Interesting. I have more than enough. I have more fun facts and not enough puns that are readily available. I appreciate the, the fun fact, though, Abby. Yes, you want to save. Save that sauce. Hope I didn't miss anything. Sheep's body is actually produced a chemical called lanolin that heals from any injuries. Muff may suffer like ticks, nicks from being sheared. They do need to be sheared to survive. Please see. What about the one sheep who was not discovered for several months and then... I think the Apollo games introduced the jury. That's one thing I want to do. I want to do these three games, the Apollo game, and then Dual Destinies. I'm hoping. If I, if I can get through them. <laughs> Please peel your sheep. Yeah, that does sound like a Tumblr thing to say. Are the Apollo games on stream? On Steam? I'm, I'm hyper to work through the series. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Apollo Justice was a DS or 3DS? 
Either way, there's an emulator for it, in which case I would say probably that might be your best bet. I guess it's like toenails and such. It's not necessary, but still good for them. Yeah. Final, I have read the Tumblr post. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, hello. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Oh, hold on. I didn't expect uh, anyone to visit me in such a dank place like this. It's really quite moving. Not you, stinking liar! I hope you d or liar, lawyer. I hope you die. <laughs> it's cockin. <laughs> Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> oh god, the nightmare feel is back in my memory. I... I... Uh, I'm sorry. On on which 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 account? So far, I've made three jugs in a vase, and they are lovely. Are you talking about like actual pottery or drawing? <laughs> Examine the boob. No. <laughs> oh no. Talk. Her oh her angry face. Oh yeah, it is. It is incredibly fucked. I was told that I'll never be good at poetry because of my dyslexia. Oh. Nice, nice try though, Rose. Anyways, uh, how f with, without spoilers, how far are you into the game, the trilogy, uh, Abby? That man. Uh, about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Tried to copy paste it, but Tumblr only lets me copy one paragraph. Ah. Maybe if I had something to, to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why did you place the wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose he learned that lawyer school. Hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. We're on case five, so a bit ahead of you. I was having a hard time finding someone to raid who isn't afraid of us. Or who isn't ahead of us. Oh, okay. Well, welcome! <laughs> nah, I, I, I appreciate the support. And I, I hope one day I can return the, the favor, favor to you, uh, Abby. Uh, case five of the same game, or further ahead in the trilogy. Each year, the, over 8,000 crowd are convicted of murder, and more than 13 ravers make conspiracy about it. Interesting. Okay. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ooh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? <laughs> Eat ass. <laughs> Go fast, eat ass. <laughs> There's no pressure. We like the chill vibes. It's case five of the same game. The bonus case. Oh, okay. I should seriously... This <laughs> oh, no worries, Rose. No worries. I'm glad you like the, 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 the chill vibes. I wouldn't call it comfy, but like, def definitely chill. Like... It's it's one of the, hold on it's one of the reasons why my BRB screen says uh going to grab marshmallows. <laughs> Bitch, you're comfy. Excuse me. What? <laughs> I'm I'm like half of me is bony, the other half of it, me is uh, overly squishy. <clears throat> I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Uh. I'm gonna present my lawyer's badge if that makes you angry. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. 
so get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Present. Lap oil, ropes, bombs, you want it, it's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rupees. Sorry, Link, I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. I've I've done that voice way too many times. I don't. I think I think I've lost my edge on that. Actually, I. Uh, here you go. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you you have been denied. <laughs> September 7th, Fanco Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. His favorite pot of plants. Guess I'll have to water it now. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made me a cry when she saw it. Oh yeah, news on my phone plan? People can't do their damn jobs since arriving on Monday. I'm half modding. Well, at least it's hopefully getting there safely. And not like, rush delivery while people are kind of... Fucking about. Only half because I still get it before my brothers. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'll have to check it out one of these days. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. I'm going to crash now. It's after midnight, but I hope you all have a wonderful stream. Thank you, Abby, and I hope to see you around again sometime. If not, no worries. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, like, stop by in one of your streams, hopefully. But uh, take care. Dear Matt, please solve your own problems. I'm tired of doing them. Ha. <laughs> some of the files are missing. Now I'm imagining things. Oh, some of them are missing. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. That's dark. Sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Hmm. <laughs> Replace that with mom and you get why I'm faking my death. Oh, no. Uh, get water. Oh, I just noticed Abby followed me on Twitter. Thank you, Abby, if you're still kicking around. <laughs> ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, a reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you are an honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. I want a cherry brandy and Sprite. Go get me the fucking cherry brandy and Sprite, you bitch! <laughs> Why does the brain ignore the second line? I don't know. Good news. Uh, Alright, probably won't miss the stream because of the bus tomorrow. You probably won't miss stream? Lurk cheese? Hell yeah, cheese. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. 
That's the Drawer of Terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Poison for Cusco, they poison choose them specifically to kill Cusco. Haven't you done that in like every other stream? Oh. I still seen fainting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. A vase is expected. I'm not going to flower names except maybe tulips and sunflowers. Nice weather again today. I can see the fan cold offices, of course. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you a three minutes of a view to a kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh ho 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 ho. The look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. You're just remembering the last time I did? That makes sense. I, I, am, a, I'm a, I am a stupid fox, so. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink. Before murder. We'll be famous. The, last, the talk of the hotel industry. This guy's crazy. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Gotta got, got do the final way of scanning things. Okay, it's clear. Oh. Alright, talk. Miss May. But Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her, she'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicion, suspicious person here is this guy. <laughs> the way he's creepily looking over, like, the message box is hilarious to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> this hotel. <laughs> this hotel's gonna do so well because of me. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et I want to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'd part of the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo, hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on the subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Give me a second here. Sorry, just finishing up off my, off my root beer. Delicious shit. High quality stuff straight from a glass bottle. Absolutely, on that subject I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. All right, so we gotta present him with a picture. Alright, alright, let's go. I guess to Grossberg, that's the only place I can think of. Oh, that thing was gone. Painting, I think it was. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case, and if not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell when some, someone here's got money to burn. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Oh, Avery! Thank you so much for the raid, man! How's it going, my dude? That's two raids today. Wow. Let me, let me, let me, let me give some, some love to my boy Avery. How's it going, man? What are you playing? Something is written in the back and uh, in the pencil in the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A. DL6 incident, exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Good ending, early so I can take a nap. Nice. Are you are you going to be uh 
uh, are you gonna be uh, participating tomorrow, or are you gonna, or are you gonna uh, be asleep through that? I, I don't mean to like insinuate that you're like, uh, like a sleepyhead, that kind of thing. I don't, I don't mean like that. I mean like, I, I want you to take a nap or like get some sleep if you're tired, man. The Oscars are a lie. Everyone they invite to participate in their ceremonies of payday. Oh. Uh, oh. Exhibit A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll board this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. There might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Photograph quietly added to the court record. No, I want the other one. Photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with this one I took? Yes, because this one's a man, so... I think I'll swap them. I don't like that smile. <laughs> Most likely, D&D was cancelled, so I'd be as tired as normal. Okie doke. Just if, don't be afraid to like sleep if you're tired, man. I'm sure everyone will be understanding. We can always like... Help keep you up to date, you know? Psychic festival to cancel due to unforeseen events. That's, I like that one. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Alright. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of... Fisherman? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Anyways, Avery, I hope you have a good night, man. Take care with this, the the sleep. And I hope you get some restful sleep. Oh, hey, schematics, how's it going? How whoa, well, schematics? I should have read that back. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, whatever. No! No, 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 no. Fuck. JK, thank you. Uh. Presents. Man. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about, how about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Uh, sure. Anyway, schematics, how's it going? Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to be an affidavit, write an affidavit, sir. Manceforth, I will be known as the be the bellboy who swore an affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Describes a man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Going okay? Doing a long overdue deployment. Deployment of what? You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? The only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have a spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Oh, that hurt. Secret thing? Okay, but is this... To, to, to clarify, when you say deployment, that's not military, correct? 
That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Oh no. Ah uh, no, okie doke. I just know Turnip and bo both Turnip and Avery were in the military, so. Like taking code and giving it a spot to run. Oh, okay. I'm curious as to like what the secret thing is going to be about. Cat j Uh, presents the... The affidavit. Affidavit? Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who is most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. You are either confused when your code works or confused when it doesn't. Exactly. I I, I can attest that code is pain. <laughs> That's probably the best way. <laughs> pain thon, C pain pain, Java pain. Pain QL. Why does this work? To why did that ever work at all? <laughs> uh, let's ease her fares. Okay, okay. She's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. My mom just scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Um. So do you work guys with thigh highs or you're not real broke? What are you talking about, Sphix? Want to draw a comic, want to write. Uh, yeah, but I'm not streaming with them. Uh, I'd say I'd say do a VN. I think it might be. I, might, I think it might be fun. As a game dev, I'd appreciate VNs. It's a different experience altogether. This may be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss even be more er, inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with them. You won't tell me. Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Some th somehow I think you're not up to it. Right? Show them a little kindness and they jump all over you. That had the opposite effect of what I'd hoped. Ah, uh, poor little lawyer. And you were so close. This isn't working. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it. Bellboy's affidavit discarded. None of his photos is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. Final is only a programmer, not a... I'm not repeating that. I do not know about the thigh high sucks. I do not, unfortunately. Is it like special programming socks? I think that's kind of funny. Present? How about this photograph? You're wasting your time. My lips are sealed. Did I just fuck my... Oh, fuck. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Uh, um. Scab, please spam his DMs with socks memes. Please don't, please don't spam, I, but I, I do appreciate some good memes. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You were quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. He was there? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess some things got passed down through Mia, maybe? Bring back some memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. It it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I, well, I... 
I appreciate oh, fuck, I keep fucking doing that. I keep hitting right click. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Why what what was that? Well you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks truly. I don't know why I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you're that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? Oh yeah, I got late B-Day money? Hell yeah! Gonna spend it on, like, some games or some new art stuff? What, what, you, what you thinking? Don't know if I want art supplies or figuring, like, the filthy weeb I am. Why not... Both. Get like a cheaper figurine and then art supplies. I, I, I don't want to say cheaper as in like quality, but you know. I asked before, but why did you refuse a request for the defense? I think I have right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright? No. I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where'd it go? Ah, yes, well... I got rid of it. Quite, got, got quite tired of the thing, really. I sold it, you see? Yes, that's right. Anyways, I'm rocking my Demon Slayer earrings like a chat. Nice! And my mom would probably let me... Holy cat, I just... W I just... Fucking witnessed my cat drift. Like he... I, I, I'm, I'm in the kitchen. So there's an island. Like, a cooking island right next to me. <laughs> yeah, he basically did deja vu. He, he took a turn around, like, on the opposite of the island to me. And t when he turned towards me, he just fucking full on drift. He's like, Deja vu, I've been here in this place before. And then just fucking took off like a rocket. <laughs> Speed heem. <laughs> Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting uh, rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't, I... Uh, present? <laughs> Speed heem emote. It's just a blur eat. Oh, I would love to see, uh, like a, sp like a speed heem emote. <laughs> Speedy low. Also doing a posture check. Thank you. Oh, and the hydrate. Thank you. <laughs> Speed on the streets, depression on the streets. <laughs> More like depression on the streets. Uh, depression on the streets. Ingest dihydrogen monoxide? I do. Uh, let's... Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it. Well, give it back at once. Mr. Grossberg, tell me about the man in this photo. He may have been in that hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything. Ahem. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. However, you didn't hear from me, if you follow. Uh-oh. That man is Mr. Red White. He's the president of Blue Corp. Red White. A Blue Corp. They're just something like a detective agency, right? They're information pros. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White is, is, has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Should you run across him, watch what you say. You wouldn't want him digging up any dirt on you. Selling information. Sounds like blackmail. 
Can you tell me where Blue Cork is located? I suppose. Sag in the streets, badge in the streets. <laughs> I like that one. Spud got a bad deal for that shirt. Nah, I, th I think you're a good person, Schematics. No, yeah, you're hella fun to play around with. That, I should have worded a lot fucking better. Anyways, you know you know what I mean. I mean, if you you can if 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 you man can code and it's a burb, that's good for me. Okay, Mr. White like is bleached. Oh, fucking! Why did you give me that mental image? He seems like the guy who bleaches his behind. Maybe. Finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Photograph returned to Mr. Grossberg. Now I must ask you to leave. I need to think about things. Alone. I dread the- oh, thank you, General. And how, how's it going, General? I'm dying of heat and I have tea. Why would you do that? Why don't, why don't you just make iced tea? Just tea, a cold, and a, l a little bit more sugar. 10 rated, 10 out of 10. <laughs> because that's less per tea? Not necessarily. You put that shit in a jar. Where you put water in a jar, you put the, the good, good ass tea bags, like Earl Grey or something. Leave it out in the sunlight. Put, put some good sugar in it. Because if you put it in a, in a jar, the, the water won't evaporate. Because my dad made it? Okay. Just farming and west of loathing. Is there a grinding section? Well, I guess there's grinding sections. What a gaudy fucking statue that is. CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. Okay. What the? Your name. What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Oh, I hate this man already. There's several. Okay, okay. Man, I love my dad, but who the fuck lets this man be a dad? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like an insult, but you know what I mean. For one of the quests? Ah, okay. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion office, uh, official. Uh, no, that's not what it means at all. It means Chief Executive Officer. My business dealings uh, bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. He probably gets bullied by the other members of the, the golf club. Want me to tell you the quest? Uh, not now, no. Uh, I, I think if if you ever watch me doing it, let, let me know if I'm close to it, or if I'm in the middle of doing the quest that, that's grindy. I was conceived because of a matched, mass failed batch, that's kind of sad, but at, at least your existence here is still good. <laughs> See poop, eat poop, oh poop. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Also, Allie, how's it going? What a fruitcake. Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you'd come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meters off the scale. What the fuck is this table? 
sorry, Sphinx, no caca. Fun fact, one of Magikarp's Pokédex tasks is you sing it splash a hundred times. It's very few you need to see move 40 times and it's usually reserved for more most powerful move of final evolution. Yeah. You can completely accidentally do the grinding part if you focus on other quests first. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, no, no, no cock a table. Here, hold on, chat. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here. There, I, ma I made a tabletop. I need people to make caca legs. <laughs> oh, okay. So at least at least it was a four-legged table. Magikarp can only learn five moves: splash, tackle, flail, bounce, and hydro pump. Yeah. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My my. This is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? That would make me hella uncomfortable. Well, does its sleek rounditure not inspire you? N no. It would be white's cock. Don't. Uh. He's be red. White has a pink cock. <laughs> Once I turn 18, I will make a cock. His cock is bleached. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that, that's to me is so fucking painful. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge's special runner-up. Best participation. Judge's cooperation award. Special good try prize. Hmm. The words judges and special kind of stand out. Think about Elohim going Neum. Instant eye bleach. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, Ali, Ali missed me describing uh, Elohim doing a uh, Tokyo drift around the kitchen. Statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. Jade Tokyo Drifts? Nice. If if you if and when you become uh, affiliate ally, are you gonna are you gonna make a JD emote? Lucy just lays down like a depressed Masao on, uh... Although, hopefully she's she's a happy cat. Being in your presence, I mean. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity. I have no, I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five million, for sure. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary. What a shock for it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. I have 40,000 embers. 40,409. 40, wow. Nice. I have infinite. Anyways, I'm going to go going for that top embers earned this year as well. Nice. Final, have you heard of the game Firewatch? I have, yes. I'm not... I don't know much about the gameplay, though. Also, no, you, <laughs> you stupid red badge. Love you too, Ali. Love you too. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mon mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, 
The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although you, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. It was a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Interesting. You should have seen the same thing as April May. Firewatch is good? Nice. I need a new Ib and Ob buddy. I've maybe heard of that one before. It's a very good game, very story based, very beautiful game. What's what's the what's the gameplay like? Out of curiosity, is it just like a explorational thing or you should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyways? Ah, excellent question. We buy and, buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. It's exploration. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I think someone posted my game recommendations. If and when I get the finances to, I'd love to get it. Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. I want to punch this guy in his stupid butt chin. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Pentabulistic, is it not? Not painting. Time to travel to Canada so I can buy you. No! Something has been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh-huh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for a uh, excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. Nice. <laughs> Punch him in the cock. Uh. <laughs> yeah, twist his dick. Final, I will break into your ass to ask you for a hug if you consent to it. I do consent to it. Just let me know who you are first. I've already had this. This was in my last place before, my, my, before I moved. I actually had somebody break into my apartment, like while while I was the light is flickering. Uh oh, Allie's in your walls again. Allie, get out of the walls. You're scaring Sphix. <laughs> no, I will knock. Okay, okay. Yeah. So to to put to put into uh to uh, for a story, when I lived in my last apartment, I every every time I would go to like the laundry room, I I like the I lived in like an apartment building, on on like the first floor. And so I would I would leave my door unlocked so I can easily go from the laundry room, which was just like the next door down, and go uh like bring laundry back and forth and but the last time the one time i did laundry i forgot to lock my door when i got back <clears throat> anyways i was i was drifting off to sleep one day just like I, like this was like one in the morning because i was up playing games or something and i was just dozing off and then my front door opens because i like i, I had a small apartment i was like a one one bath, one bedroom, and a living room and a kitchen, basically. And from 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 the end of my bed, I could see the front door. And so the front door opened up, and like this woman was standing there. Of course, the the, the, the only one a.m. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I I just I I I I, I LARP. 
so I, I had metal gauntlets on hand. And so like this woman was breaking into my 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 apartment and I I was just stunned. Well, she didn't break in, she just kind of opened the door and walked in. And so I, I got up quickly and and let in my boxer shorts and my t-shirt. And I was and I and I stood there with the gauntlet behind my back because I I was ready to strike at any time out of defense. Keep in mind. I I'm not I'm not one to condone violence, but I I wanted to make sure like I had some sort of defense if this woman had gone crazy on me, you know? And anyway, she busted in, she goes, oh yeah, is, 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 is what, what did she say? Is Greg or like somebody, I, I'll say Greg because I can't remember the name she used. Oh yeah, is, is, is Greg okay? And I'm like, uh, he, he doesn't live here. Oh, I know, I know he does, I know he does. And like, I, I, like, just talking with her, I was like, I, I don't know who this is, but I'll, I'll say, I'll go along with things just so I don't get like shanked. Oh, seven year old me was much more violent. Yeah. Anyways, she goes, oh yeah, uh. Oh yeah, is, is 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 Greg here? He's Greg's okay. He uh, he was messaging me and he sounded sounded suicidal. I was like, well, that doesn't seem. First of all, I don't know a Greg. Secondly, your eyes are very, very, very bloodshot. Like I couldn't, I can in the in the kind of like shadow, I couldn't, I couldn't see the whites of her eyes. And I was just standing there, fucking shaking, because this woman just got into my apartment. And she refused to leave. She was like, oh, no, I need to look around and make sure she, like, I need to make sure he's okay and he's not here. And I was like, no, this is my apartment, please. I, 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 can, I can assure you he's not here. I'm, I'm, I'm not harboring anybody. Oh, if you, if you see Greg, please tell him to message me. I will, I will. And so she turns and leaves. And, of course, like, I, I, as soon as I, like... <laughs> Thou, <laughs> and like so, I I I turned around, or like I I closed the door and I turned around, locked the door, and like I I think it was like a month after I got an Elohim, so Elohim just kind of like scaredly crept out of my recliner because he liked to be under my recliner at the time, and he just kind of sat on my lap, and I and I sat there for a good half hour, and then I hear screaming outside. And apparently, from what I, because I, 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 my, my apartment faced into an alleyway. Uh, she, from what I could tell, she started assaulting a police officer out there. I don't know if she had a bat or what, but like, it petrified me to go from going outside because, like, I, I was like, yay close to just being assaulted somehow like shit like holy fuck now like that 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 shit fucking scared me glad, yeah I'm, I'm i'm glad i'm glad i got her out as well it was it was a bit of a Apparently, and like this, this was a situation that kind of went on for another month because apparently she was the girlfriend of somebody in the apartment uh, on the same floor as me, or one above me. I can't remember which. Uh, and she had she was notorious for going into people's apartments like that, looking for them. But this guy that she was dating was uh, what is not paying rent. Uh, so she lost a shit on him and was often looking for an excuse to, I guess, abuse him. So I'm, I'm, I'm thank, I'm thankful that I, I, I'm, I'm sad that the guy wasn't able to pay rent, but I'm thankful that he got help against, uh, her. Cause it was like, I, I talked with, uh, like several, several apartment mates not 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 everybody in that apartment building was old except for me like i'm talking like 70 plus years old kind of old why does she sound like my mom oh shit um but yeah like several of these older people are like oh yeah we 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 know about her she's she's notorious uh we've we've tried to contact the superintendent i was like fucking damn it holy shit and she just gets on just by like i think she just rings up everybody she can until somebody lets her in. 
claiming she's like food or something like that. I can't remember the details of that, but uh, that, that just that's 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 my story of of my my apartment being broken into while while I'm about to doze off. In retrospect, I'm I'm very glad I managed to find my metal gauntlet in time. I'm glad I kept I, I accidentally kept the armor stand by my bedside, <laughs> or, or not armor stand, armor set. Ung. oof. Uh, he he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault. Charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Need my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comprehension or beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg's yes. Then you must ask him. Why is it why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live uh, purely for personal prop profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. I don't want to get insulted by this guy. Time to Grody Burgers, I mean Gross Burgers. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Jumping uh, Jehoshaphat's. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes. Yes, I did. Something is... Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... I think I've already done this one. Your feel I've asked before, but... Alright. So I paid Blue Cobra a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, I'll throw it my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Bruce Grossberg, sir? There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it, today. It was in the CEO's office of uh, Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lovers. It's not something I can claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> what? My boy. You sent that painting to him. As a sign. A sign of untying love. My boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. <laughs> Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I... I don't understand how you could. That's because I'm not. We're not... Don't be ridiculous. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> no, no, no. We are not lovers. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DLC 6 or DL6 excuse me, incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of these photographs. As you suspected, I could not I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Ray would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Possible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. 
He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see, what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is a DLC 6 incident? D or DL6 incident is nothing more than the sorting code of the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. Spirit medium. Her name was Misty Faye. Oh. Faye. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a, a murder at the uh, bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, it cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is a DLC, DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. So I got a phone call. I'm back. Nice! Oh, that was a good phone call. But one person found out. I... I told him. He told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. You know nothing about it? Okie doke. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you were still, uh, yet if you would still challenge him, have a cloak, close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what he, what she found. I just hate people. Same. Oh. Funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossbrook said there would be clues. Maybe we should have another look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, C, F, Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Should I take a look? Power Wash Sim Murder Cleaning DLC. That is a lot to think about. <laughs> I've tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other, the other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Oh god, it's so hot with the shit, it's 10 p.m. How hot is it down there? Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end of the S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... Is writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriter. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. It was 30 earlier. Oh, crap. Indoors, too? Check them. Let's let's find though. T to Z. T U I know W white. The entire W section is missing. 
Was it taken? Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. On the other hand, it's negative 30. It's negative 31 up there? It's positive 3 here. I, is it really that drastic of a temperature difference? Ah, uh, no, it was 3 earlier today. It should be negative 18 here. Bro, it was 2 degrees yesterday, and it was nice. Uh, can you water? Hmm. The bow boy seems to be out, huh? Sound of water coming from the shower. la di da money-making, money-making, I got the money-making blues. Someone seems to be enjoying washing, someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. Why don't you get, get yourself a cold cloth and put it on the back of your neck? Allie, he's also closer to the equator. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate li having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. So come here on your summer enjoy. Maybe one day I'll visit Chile. I like to try to see some of the stuff. I'm not close to the equator, but I'm saying that it gets just as hot here in our summer. Yeah. What's the matter? You seem distressed. This guy's a pro pulling the wool over people's eyes. I gotta put him on the spot and quick. Stop that. Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. There's no point in asking someone this crooked or straight question. It's my evidence I can use his ammo. Just my eyes and my nose and my mouth. Of course I jest, you need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Ah, uh, fuck, what do I present? This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. Wright, I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and co coercing hundreds and uh, hundreds of others. Anyways, if you want to come to Chile, I want to be the first to, to know so I can tour you. I'd appreciate that, actually. I think it would be better to have like a friendly face to show you around. Just like if you come up here to Canada. Like, Ali and I can probably help you out, kind of thing. Same with anybody. Like, if schematics wanted to come up, I'll show schematics around. That, that kind of thing. Why can't I find a fucking map? <laughs> just, I just use Google Maps. You involved all the suicide cases that me investigated. <laughs> I'm gonna shit in your bed. Uh, maybe not schematics. Let, let's go with turnip then. I'll, I'll show turnip around. Schematics is no longer welcome in Canada for shitting in beds. <laughs> Turnip is gonna leave weed in your bed. I I guess Avery then. And Ellie. Oh no! I don't I don't want High Kitty. 
Oh no. I, I, I gave him catnip earlier today. There's catnip all over the floor. Avery has guns? Yeah, but Avery... I, I trust with him. He's from Tekkas? Yeah, I know. I, probably, I, I trust Avery with guns. Avery doesn't trust me with guns. <laughs> Involved in all the suicide cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing right now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. Wright. Tekkas, yeah. I've, I've been, I've, I've, that joke's been burning in me for a while. I don't know why I wanted to say that. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered. And all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be? Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? They may have fake case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed but could be violent. What, what man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. Wade, this isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends of the local lawyers association, you see. They'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they'll make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. But Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. If you're from Vancouver and higher, then yes, I'm closer. Otherwise, I'm further. Uh, I'm close to Toronto. I would I wouldn't say in Toronto. I wouldn't say. I I'm. I'm not gonna say my exact area. But I'm, 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 it's best to use Toronto as, like, the point of interest. Mr. White, I will unbleach your arse with your blood. It is, is, is Fix br brutally gonna butt fuck Mr. White? <laughs> I'm further to the equator. <laughs> I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Yes, same, although Mosaus do somewhat dox me. I think I've talked about your country before. 
I have standards. <laughs> Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha, huh, now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to, Ma uh, to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... <laughs> Help me break out of here. Yes, but Milsaos are local to my zone. Oh. So don't worry? Okay. <laughs> Cheer me on in court. <laughs> Milkaos? Oh. I, th I, I saw it with like a strange accent. So I thought it was... I thought it was just Milsaos because it was... That's gotta be more the most helpful. <laughs> How's it going, Mushy? Cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me, huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom poms. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. I want to drop dead because there's no reason not to be sleeping. But until then, dude, go. Go the fuck to bed. Finally, get to Spanish class one. You know what? I'll do a. I'll do a Duolingo on stream one day. It's just a C, so it is milk cows. Okay. Th 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 thank you for helping me. I'm sorry that I kept mis mispronouncing it. I I'll, I'll keep trying to remember. Why not you? You mean you? You teaching me? <laughs> Clap or go the fuck to bed then. Please, uh, I'm just I'm, I appreciate you being here, Mushy. But I'd appreciate it more if you took care of yourself, you know? Including getting some rest. Now there really isn't anything you can do for me anyways. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. She has a nice smile. I'll show them a thing or two. She's gonna kill somebody. Again. But times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost finished, almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With a true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. I mean, I'm an absolute disaster at teacher, but I was just fucking around if you want to, sure. Up to you, man. He smells like ass bleach. <laughs> man, man uses actual bleach for... What <laughs> the fuck I'm do not. <laughs> September 9th, 9.52 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look. Yeah, I got him. I got him set up. I've been leaning back too long. Ah. Uh, uh, Free posture check. Oh, fuck. Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to twist my back. Oh, fuck. Prosecutor Edgeworth. 
I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen on me. Another, oh, another bonus check. I'm just going to do a simple stretch if that's okay. Oh, that one pulled a yawn out of me. Holy crap. What does the white does white have the judge in his pocket too? So, <laughs> so you're saying I'm gonna be guilty, end of story. So you're saying I'm gonna be guilty, end of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to is to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Allie is playing Uno. You have Uno, motherfucker. <laughs> Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. So they're not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. September 9th, 10, 8, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Pro prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up, up, up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the events are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like hearing... Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. What, what, what was said? Uh... Raise an objection, I guess? Mr. Edgeworth, your own explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. There's a Shallock. Is there? I have yet to discover it. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Oh, it's an option. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just Dagon Rapa. Oh, okay. I mean, so it's. I mean, in a while, I've. I've yes, nice. Great. He gets to show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Wright right to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Er, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. <laughs> Red like blood? Or his unbleached asshole? <laughs> my name is Re Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Nino. I am I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. 
Did you know the victim missed me a fay? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem, why do I tell you what I already what you already know? Very well, Mr. Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world? I'm the last man standing. <laughs> You're a bleached asshole, dipshit. Silence! Ho oh, ho ho. Have you made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer? Let him have it, Phoenix. Oh, let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quiet, quietly perusifying, or that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking the woman with long hair. I remember my raw anger at this case, okay. It's to say that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called this May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Oh, finally there was an impaction. Something, something, something. Things occurred as you testify, that I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, or, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Let's see, it's about 9 o'clock. But you couldn't have been there. The bellboy didn't see you. By window, you mean the one directly across from the fan called offices. Correct, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers. Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a, and I'm a busy man who has business to do. I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to double back on this one. <laughs> Objection, your asshole stinks. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, presumed. We see. Continue. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw my spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Does that mean there was two attacks? He used to say the man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Called Miss Mary over once, she too was surprised, of course. The victim, she ran away. Let me press on this one. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. No. No, 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 no. Dutch and Tech then ran to the right. Oh yeah, today I had to deal with my dad's hellish Mac laptop. I felt raw rage, I'm going feral at 20. I... I hate Mac so, so fucking much. I've, I've personally never used Linux, so I can't exactly know. But Mac, I cannot fucking stand. Anything Apple, I cannot fucking stand. I, I, I just beg the question. Uh, and this is for both you, Sphix, and for schematics. Is there a Linux phone? Ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I'm, I'm always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. What happens if I press this? Android? Android is, is Linux? I thought Linux or Android was standalone. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? I'm absolutely positively perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? Mr. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as a little odd? Uh, present? More traditional Linux environments exist for phones? Oh, okay. 
Where does Pine Phone run? I don't know what Pine Phone is. Android has its own thing, but it does run on Linux. Okay, that's interesting. Right there, Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho, it, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. The victim ran to the left as she claimed she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> that feeling went asshole unbleached. <laughs> I know it's KDE, but I don't know the base. Okay. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I miss oh, can you explain this contradiction? Both are right. I can check real quick. Okay, okay. Ha, I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that will explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. It was not in the hotel. Where could he have been? In the law offices of Fane Co., of course. Ah, oh, shit, we got him already. <laughs> or specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from his point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Manjaro postmarked OS and open SUSE, not neon. Huh. They had a neon image a while back. Maybe that was early Android, I guess? I, I don't know much about the Linux OS's. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might it be allowed to testify once more? Don't worry, Fino. Okie doke. Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. No, it was only one strike, wasn't it? Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Is it? It only says one strike. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Mr. Girl, you saw meth left. Okay. 
You hit her twice. No, it was a single straight. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Er, er. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. In the nuts! Right in the cock. Uh, Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the script you were absolutely perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Oh yeah, I introduced my dad to YouTube. YT Vanced. What's Vanced? And now I'm the favorite child. Oh, so nice L there. <laughs> Modified YouTube app. Oh. Witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. We just started. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Oh, okay. And sponsor block? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll wait for a little bit. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. And the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you heard it, then you did her one with a single blow. Thwap. Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin your cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I looked at the other window when I heard the other window. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Oh. Uh, that, um, the glass light stand. One that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yes? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. I change your uh, testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Would this mean that uh, she walked onto broken glass? Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, no, no. Triple no. How could I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her with a single blow with the lap. The last light stand was laying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why did you tell us about the stand before? Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait. One moment. 
Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so, so confused. White's falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgering any further. Mr. White, please refrain from badgering the, uh, the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edward is on the ropes. Very well, the witness may continue his account. I'm going to present the glass shards here. Because it was broken and then she ran left, she would be on... Edrith, I will do your father. <laughs> your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh, really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Rich. Oh, come on! Whoops, that didn't go so well. I love how you know that you fucked up when the music doesn't change. <laughs> Try to think here what it could be. I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Is it this one? music stopped. <laughs> Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass light stand. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. Oh yeah, Fino, have you seen Gamer Boy Holy Water? Uh, I've seen Gamer Boy Bath Water, but not Holy Water. If you look through the, uh, the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. Here. Well, but the light stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. Wright. Sorry. What do you have to say to that? Uh, er, r ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. I'm just clicking on that quickly. <laughs> nice. Oh, Moist Noggin, thank you so much for the raid. I greatly appreciate that. How's it going? How was how your stream? How was how days gone? <laughs> oh, uh, the Ripper 806. Thanks for becoming a bonfire, buddy. I appreciate that. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see the fall either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. Wright? It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. Good. Nice. All you need to know is that White pleases. Okay, then. Hey, thanks, thanks for bringing that up to, to the Raiders fix. <laughs> Anyways, was, was your game good, Moist? In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> I don't know. The people need to know. <laughs> this fix, you don't have to tell me something I already know. <laughs> Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I, I, Miss Mia. Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Aw, oh, fuck off. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? I forgot about Edgeworth. 
Mr. White, I think the time has come. Should you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? Wait, there was a gift sub? Did it not show up? I think it was a while ago. Oh, okay. I, I apologize. I haven't played Valo. Nice. I've never played Valo, nor do I have interest in it. The, the, the only the only quote unquote uh, combat game I've I have uh, been playing is Overwatch. I said you should confess your crime. Oop. Ergo, confess that you placed the wire tap. The wire tap. Oh fuck! Is he gonna double reverse it? EAC. Ah. Uh. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. Explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. Oh, I'm sorry. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Court. You ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's law office. Fun fact, Mr. White likes to lick stinky feet. <laughs> I know you guys want Linux rights. I promise if I make when if and when I make skybreakers, I'm gonna try to get, get a lot of Linux testing. Scan scan I hope you're uh, ready for that. As well as YouTube's fix. Although you guys are gonna need VR headsets. <laughs> Am I correct? Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fanco law offices. That is when I saw the accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> oh shit, I am poor. <laughs> Same. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright, who has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass was last stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright could have, would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. However... Is the fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to go, when he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. There you go. Phoenix Wright's theory is, is revealed for the basis of conjecture. It is. Oh shit. Most game supports most en most game engines support Linux, I think. Uh, Unity does, which is what I'm developing in. Uh, but you'd also need to specify, and I want to make sure that like it can actually run on. Uh, Linux or Linux systems, like perfectly. <laughs> Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I I feel faint. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fanco law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. Attempt to rob a bank or seduce a millionaire? Do both. Sedu seduce, seduce a millionaire who owns a bank and then rob their bank. And then take their money anyways. <laughs> I, for, for, for legality's sake, I'm not actually encouraging theft. So you saw the stand-up before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Correct. That is right. I see. Very much right. You may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. What the hell am I supposed to press here? Is it be uh, beginning of September, week before the murder. Sorry, give me 
a second. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Ah, right. I had entered the Faye and Co. law offices. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fanco Law Offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. If I know Edith works, she's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fanco Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. You can get new lines of dialogue or new, di new lines of text by pressing. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Done so to place the wiretap, maybe. Holy I'm just gonna press every single thing and see if I get something. Why'd you tap me his phone? This is no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. The Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That was when I saw this glass light stand. Why did you notice know something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a mutatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there is nothing here for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I guess September the week before the murder. I entered the Fanco Law Offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. Oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Oh. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Have you considered accepting death? I don't want to die. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. What is she doing here? <laughs> is this some deus ex machina shit? Mia. Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Fuck, that actually just startled me. What the hell? Hey, Phoenix. Gak, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Okay. The, the hell? You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appeared that it was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Wow, this is some strong ass fuck in day sex machina. Now she can just admit that red white uh uh murdered her to the court and well, I guess it's spirit beam shit. They already had a DL6 incident about this. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But we don't have much time, Phoenix. Listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, write what that, not me. 
What do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. Front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. Thousand dollars. Wow. Item glass light stand. Oh I make oh I may wamo shinderu. Date of purchase September fourth. September fourth, that's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Oh, and he was there a week before uh, getting the wiretap. Oh. Now what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Nice. He said he saw the stand a week before the murder. Oh. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. September 6, uh, 116. Don't worry, I'm alive. Court now will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The Crocus examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edwards has noticed, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edwards, do you have an op opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Time to slap his ass. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Dab. And present. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? God his ass! Why, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor. Would you tell the court what was written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of the purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. <laughs> Clap those bleach cheeks home. Hell yeah! You see, Mr. White? When you allegedly entered the famed cold law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Hi, TKJ. How's it going? Kawaii! Oh, kwa! <laughs> Good. Nice. I'm guessing your day's gone well. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. <laughs> White takes a fat L off his arse. Hell yeah. So there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Oh, come the fuck on. We just had him. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? No way he can warm his way out of this one. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. <laughs> Edgeworth! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Ergo! <laughs> I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I intend to make one more inquiry into this matter. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. 
What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No. There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is just sure to come up with or just makes up something. <laughs> Edgeworth, I will bite your pee pee off. <laughs> what a, what a, fr what a, what a, what a line. After Mia showed up to help me at all. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Mia. Phoenix. Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? List of names in Mia's handwriting. Okay. Edrith, I will show up to your house and we'll splash watermelon juice in your face. Oh, but watermelon juice is delicious. Don't don't waste the good stuff. Give give him like. What's what's that fruit that smells really bad? G give give him some of that that juice. Durian, I think. Being rainbow opens many doors of threats. <laughs> Durian. Okay. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. The receipt again. <laughs> Cantaloupe is so good. It is good. Cantaloupe... The only one I uh, like the, the, the quote-unquote round fruit per, uh, family is uh, Honeydew. I cannot... Stand Honeydew. I think it's Honeydew. Whatever the green one is. The Mamma Mia he had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt. Please, stop. Make him stop. How... how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. The fuck is that? Let me look it up. Okay, okay. I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> He's just like, I, I, I just deus ex machina so hard. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Stop that. Hmm. Well, this court finds a defense. Um, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. That shit looks the same. Honeydew is green. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe up here is orange. Or like a yellowish orange. District level number one. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still much I have to say. Don't worry. I don't know which way I want to have. A, I mean, outside. Oh, okay. I don't wait into the fridge store. <laughs> I'm sorry, cantaloupe is something that part of the school walls look like it has. It. Wow, it really does. <laughs> bite, bite into the school walls, kid. Get, get, get some, get some fresh cantaloupe. 
though please don't actually bite into walls. I don't want. I don't want to be fucking. That, is, that was a joke. Don't don't actually bite into walls. Don't break your teeth. I'm sure we'll meet again, Chief. He, <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say nine nine o'clock p.m. <laughs> Red White's gonna break out of jail. He's gonna murder you too at nine o'clock p.m. The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. Now my schools look like piss. Ew. And at 2 p.m. Oh, he's late. Being here. It's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? Bwahaha. <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Okay then. Okay, we have cantaloupe. Nice. Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. <laughs> Might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has had. Someone has to help with the new Wright and Co. law offices, right? And who better but me? My FA reporting for duty. Hey, I got my new my own my, my own law office. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners. Oh, honey, dude, that shit looks like pumpkin. Eh. Yeah. You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. <laughs> right in Kola offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. <laughs> I'm seeing ghost. Ghost. I'm haunted. <laughs> Mia, Mia, as a ghost, puts his hand, puts her hand on <laughs> the, the, uh, Phoenix. The reason for the reason for his expression is because he just <laughs> oh, what 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 is, what is that ghost stuff uh, called? Uh, the the um uh what's what's that ghost goo called? She she ghost gooed all over his hand. <laughs> <laughs> the shock face is like, oh fuck, she ghost gooed all over me. <laughs> ectoplasm, that's it. She ectoplasmed all over me. Dirty bastard! I'm sorry, but there's a reason why it's, I why I set this to 18 plus as a stream. <laughs> General, I've been making bottle jokes after stream. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Oh fuck! I I'm so bad. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <sighs> Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. Right, okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint down the street. Come on. Time's a wasting. Okay. Oh, wait up. 
He was not, in fact, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hell yeah. I heard murder. <laughs> A brand new episode has been added. I'm actually going to close this before we, we go anywhere. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm done for the day uh, after that one. That, that was actually really great. I felt, I, I had actually stumped me at one point. I couldn't figure out what the hell to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to join the Discord. Uh, fix, post the Discord. Uh, and I also have a YouTube channel, which I post most of my VODs. Because I'm an idiot and missed one VOD. Because things glitched out and wouldn't tell me. Anyways. Go rest green bean man. I'll do a little bit of pixel mode before I head to sleep. But I might, my fault is just fucking dry now. Alright. We have two options. We have Abyssa and we have Turnip. Final, don't feel bad. I've been stuck for 30 minutes to an hour at a time. Final Phenol gets Deus Ex Machina. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. By the way, if I, as, as, as a request, if you guys are ever watching the VODs, feel free to like leave a comment or a like or something, if you can. I don't know how much it helps, but I want to see if we can, we can just like grow the community by abusing like YouTube's algorithm or some shit like that. Also, there's an Elohim of demanding scritches at my feet right now, so I'm giving him scritches if I seem a little distracted. Oh, he's got the big stretches. Oh, oh big kitty. Good boy. Give him love. I am giving him love. Him's, him's a happy cat. Sorry, I, I'm distracted. My cat always takes precedence over everything, even stream. I'm sorry, guys, but this this cat is is has helped me through a lot of tough situations. So I'm just. Also, maybe turn up. Okie doke. Uh, okay. Uh, slash raid. V turn up. Okie doke. Uh, what should the raid message be? Hmm. Something about buttholes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? Sure, let's. Uh, I actually kind of like general. Sorry. Uh, there we go. That's that. This this will be the right message. Uh, I hope everybody has a good time. I hate you all, but you you love being a part of the community, don't you? Anyways, I hope I hope everybody has a good night. Uh, tomorrow will be more Minecraft with uh the farmhouse. Uh, so uh, you you did it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, but we 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 all rib on you, but because we appreciate you, fix. I hope you know that. Anyways, uh, Elohim says goodnight, everybody, and uh, take care.